Hi, welcome to Big Ted's Home and Garden. Today we're going to take a look at the Shark Duo Clean Cordless Upright Vacuum Cleaner. This particular vacuum cleaner is the ICZ160. It's the UK model with anti-hair wrap technology. I've owned this machine for 12 months now. I've been really impressed with it so far. So I'm going to show you the main features of this vacuum cleaner and hopefully that will help you to make an informed decision on whether this is the machine for you as well. If you're currently undecided whether to go for a corded or a cordless vacuum cleaner, I wish I'd gone cordless years ago. I found it's absolutely brilliant. It makes a massive difference in terms of time and ease of use, not having that cable trailing around behind you. And I've found that I can easily get around the whole house on a single battery charge. Now, if you do decide to go for a cordless vacuum cleaner, they fall into two main groups. You've got the stick vacuum cleaners, which have got the, the motor, the bin, and the battery up at the top of the handle. Or you've got models like this, where they're all located much lower down, closer to the cleaning head. Personally, I find that having the bulk of the weight lower down means that there's less strain on your wrists and your arms. So it's easier to use the machine for a longer period. Don't worry if you think that having the bin and the battery down at the bottom of the machine will stop you getting under furniture. It's all detachable, as I'll show you later. If we look at the machine from the front, on the right hand side, we've got the filter. In the centre, we've got the detachable bin. And on the left hand side, we've got the battery. To remove the battery for charging, simply lift up the handle at the back of the battery and slide it out. The battery is a 2,900 milliamp hour lithium ion battery and to replace it all you do is reverse the process you slide it back in and it clicks into place. Shark claim the battery has got a run time of 50 minutes and I've got no reason to doubt that I've never run out of charge. You can see how much charge you've got left from the indicator on the top you can see this one's got about a third of the capacity left. To recharge your battery after use I find the easiest way to do this is to use the charging dock which comes included with the machine. Just sit the battery in the dock and just leave it to charge. To recharge the battery from a third back to full capacity, it took one and a half hours. The filter's located on the opposite side of the machine to the battery. It's easy to access, just pull off the panel and then you can slide out the filter ready for cleaning. There is a separate video on this on my channel if you do subscribe. To do this, all you've got to do is hit the subscribe button below. It costs you nothing it makes a massive difference to small channels like mine. At the front of the machine you'll find the bin. Removing it for emptying is simple. You just pull the two clips at the back of the bin and lift it off. You then press the button at the bottom of the bin and that releases the hinge base ready for emptying. Once you've emptied it, you just clip it back into place. If you want to get into the top of the machine to clean the mesh filter, click the button just below the handle. This releases the catch on the lid and lets you open it up for cleaning. Just click it back into place when you're done. The bin then just clips back onto the front of the machine. Underneath you've got the anti-hair wrap brush. It's designed to stop hair getting tangled up in the brush. As you can see it's not perfect, but my daughter does have very long blonde hair. I actually found that it's the comb by the front roller that needs cleaning more often. Now fortunately the front roller does detach to allow you to do this. To do this all you have to do is push up the tab on the side of the cleaning head and pull the roller out. You've then got easy access to the comb and you can pull out any fluff that's got stuck in there. The controls are at the top of the handle. You'll find the on and off button and then there are two settings. There's a lower power for hard floors and a higher power for carpets. In both modes you can press the boost button if you need a little bit of extra suction. As you can probably tell I've muted the sound up to now as vacuum cleaners are not the nicest thing to listen to. But this machine is actually much much quieter than my previous corded vacuum cleaner. But there's still one member of the family who's not convinced. It must be the lights. The lights are actually really useful. They're great for picking up dust in dark areas such as underneath desks or under beds. Another nice feature of this machine is how the cleaning head swivels and allows you to get into tight corners. To demonstrate suction, I'm going to pour some sugar on the floor. I'm going to add some coffee granules. 
and some broken up dried spaghetti. And then we'll see what the shark's like at picking this lot up. As you can see, absolutely no problem there at all. If I zoom in, you can see it's done a really good job. Battery life and suction were the two things I was worried about when I switched to a cordless vacuum cleaner. But this machine's been great so far. What you don't get with the Shark is lots of accessories. You just get the three tools shown here. So you've got this brush, this attachment for cleaning upholstery, this longer nozzle for getting into crevices, and a tote bag to keep them in. And you also get the charging dock, which we discussed earlier. One of the big advantages of the Shark is how versatile it is. It's really, really easy to take it apart. The motor and bin just simply unclips and lifts away. And then the wand release button allows you to separate the wand from the cleaning head. You've then got a handheld unit with a long reach. You can add attachments such as a nozzle and get right up into the corners where the ceiling meets the wall. Another option is to use the trigger on the handle to release the control unit. You can then add attachments like the brush to give you a short handled unit which is ideal for cleaning upholstery inside cars or window sills. If you need to vacuum under low furniture such as sofas or beds it's easy to remove the bin unit and then you can hinge the handle right back and get right under there. Now the gap between the bottom of this sofa and the floor is about 85 millimetres, that's about three and a half inches. Let's give you an idea of uh, the scale we're talking about. Some Shark models do come with a motorised pet hair tool or you can buy one separately. I've found I've not needed one, but you might wish to consider this if you do have long haired pets for example. So I think I've covered just about everything. If there's anything that's unclear or if you've got any questions, please leave a comment below. If you found this useful, please leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Big Ted's Home and Garden. We'll see you soon.